Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Abandonware. This is the first video in the series where I'll be browsing the museum of games that have passed out of our collective consciousness and into the public domain. The first game we'll be looking at is called The Miser's House, also known as Miser. It was released in 1981 for the Commodore PET, and it's a traditional text-based command input adventure. Uh, this is the first time I've played this, so I'm not sure how extensive or difficult it is, but I guess we'll find out as we go. Uh, hopefully I don't get stuck at the first obstacle, but there's no promises. I haven't got the uh, best track record on these style of games, but I'll give it my best shot. Uh, emulating it with DOSBox, obviously, because it's not going to run on, on modern systems. It's an 8-bit uh, program, I believe. Okay, explore the miser's house. To play the game, type command and see what happens. That's to be expected. To move about, type the initial of the direction, north, south, east, west. Um, okay, picking up objects. So there's an inventory. And there's hidden treasures. Now that should be neat. Well, keep an eye out for those. And there is death. Always important to have some sort of consequence. You're in the front porch. There is a mat here. Um, move mat. You find a door key. Well, that was easy. I wonder if Maniac Mansion was referencing that all those years later. Uh, get, get key. Okay. Did I get the key? Yes. Uh, is there a door? Oh, guess so. An open door leads north. Oh, so the exit was the door. Surely they could have fit an extra word or two in their in their memory. Uh, Spooky. The door slams shut behind you. You're in the foyer to a large house. Dust is everywhere. Obviously, because it's northwest. Can I take the dust? What? Apparently not. Game is incredulous. Uh, we'll go west. See what's there. You're in the dining room. Uh, is there a dining table? I don't underest and that. Hey buddy, neither do I. Alright, we will keep going. There is a sword here. Oh, uh, well, that's. Is it gonna be cursed or something or cut me in half? Okay, got a sword. Making progress. Easy game. Obvious exits northeast. I came from it. I came from east. So I went west, so we'll go north. You're in the kitchen, it is bare. That's a shame. Uh I guess we'll go east. You're in the pantry. A rich full voice says Ritnew is a charming word. Who is talking? Say Ritnew. Is that a code? Is that an anagram or something? Went here. Winter? Written? Well, I'll remember that in case I need it later, I guess. Um, you're in the breakfast room. Bright and cheery. I thought this was supposed to be a spooky haunted house adventure. It's a bit out of character. Maybe the miser can't afford curtains. I don't know. There is a vicious snake here. Let's bite it. 
Let's wrangle it. Kill snake. Use sword. Uh-oh. Um, I guess we'll just leave. The snake is about to attack. Can we attack it back? I th think we're going to meet our first sticky end. Can I go back west? Oh, that's okay. Let's try another route. You're in the backyard. There is a rusty cross here. There is a leaky faucet. Um, Hopefully there's some vampires we can use that on. Um, leaky faucet. Can we get the faucet? No, can we turn the faucet? Half of this, the difficulty in these games is trying to figure out what commands are actually valid. I mean, I suppose back when back when this was all that was about, people were a bit more used to it, but uh, I played a few text adventures in my youth, but it was not just text, it was, you know, you always had something on the screen like Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry or, um, or Hugo. God, are we playing Hugo later? That one was a, a right pain, to say the least. Um... All right, where were the exits to this one? All the exits. I'll keep going north. In the forest. Uh, I don't know if I want to be in the forest yet. Let's go west. I mean, I imagine after playing a few of these, you would have got a talent for keeping a sort of mental map in your head. I know people used to, uh, you know, draw maps in on grid paper and that sort of thing. You're in the pool area, there is a large swimming pool here. The pool is full of liquid mercury, good god. Where do you get that much mercury? Oh, he's a miser. I suppose mercury is valuable. And the pool is going to be the best place to keep it. I don't know if he has baths in it, like Scrooge McDuck and his gold coins. I expect that would be a bit better for you than mercury. Uh, can I... No, I don't want to get in the pool. Can I get mercury? I imagine I'll need a bottle of some sort. A, a file. Alright, well, we'll, we'll keep moving. We'll go north. Oh, a bucket. Could you keep mercury in a plastic bucket? It's not going to melt it or anything. Just break the handle off, probably. I'll, I'll take the bucket will come in handy at some point. There is a valve on one of the pipes. Can I turn the valve? With much effort, you turn the valve five times. You hear the sound of liquid flowing through the pipes. Liquid mercury or liquid water? Not sure. All right, we can go back out of here. The pool. Oh, the pool's drained. Clever. I knew I did that for a reason. I see something shiny in the pool. Get something. What do I call it? Shiny? Can I go to pool? One or two word command. Go pool. You're in the bottom of a swimming pool. A ladder leads up and out. There is a diamond ring. Score. I don't know why the miser keeps his diamond rings in his pool. I suppose underneath liquid mercury is a pretty good hiding spot. Well, we'll have that. Get ring. You got a treasure. Okay, is that a secret or is that just the score? I suppose if it tells us at the end you got two treasures and doesn't, you know, give us the full ending or something, then we'll know that 
you have to go around and find them all. Uh, go to ladder. You're in the backyard, leaky faucet. Um, can we use the bucket on the faucet then? If the mercury's gone. Um, don't understand that. Use bucket. Can we fill the bucket up? Hooray. Okay. You are in the hedge maze because we've all got one of those. OBS exits south and west. Not a very complicated maze. Oh, well, I, I eat those words. This is going to be pretty tricky. This is where the grid paper comes in. Back to where I started. Okay. Well, I can only go the one way, otherwise, I'm going back. Where's. Sweet. Golden leaf. Another treasure. Where's the miser when all this is going on? We're running around his house pinching his stuff. He doesn't seem too perturbed about it. All he's got is a snake, which hopefully has stayed where it was. There's no wampus following following us around, no no creeping horror in the dark. Uh, how do I leave east? Back in the maze. Um, I went south, south. West. Hit a dead end. You're in the hedge maze, we see it's south and west. Okay, back in the kitchen. Familiar territory. Don't think we went here yet. The Great Hall, suits of armor line the walls. I'm picturing them turning their heads after I leave like a Scooby-Doo suit of armor is want to do. There is a majestic staircase leading up here. Up where? Okay. Well, I guess we'll go upstairs. The suits of armor try to stop you, but you fight them off with your sword. I'm glad we got the sword then. You were in the middle of the western hallway. I would have thought a sword would be fairly ineffectual against suits of armor. But hey, who am I to comment on moving suits of armor? There is a majestic staircase leading down here. Okay. Will four, John. You're in the junction of the west hallway and the... Oh, God. All right, memory. West hallway and the south. Well, we came from the south. There's one going up and down, and then there's one going west. Uh, go west. Oh, I've done a circle. You're 
you're in the east bedroom, nothing here. There is a parachute with no ripcord here. Okay, so we have to jump from a top story window. Okay, I don't know how I missed that. You're in the master bedroom, there's a huge four poster bed. There's a piece of paper here, we'll get that paper. 12356. All right, give me a second, I'll put that on. I'll open up Notepad. Hmm, looks like a combination. You don't say. It's the kind of password an idiot would have on their luggage. Alright, where did we come from? We came from the east. We'll keep going. You're in the west bedroom, there is a penny here. How lucky! There's a huge amount of Chekhov's gun that goes on in these games. You you find something, anything that's going to be in these games, and it's going to be uh, uh, useful at some point later on. It's a bit more of a mix and match, you know, match match the two items together that that have a relationship. Although I suppose later on they started to put a few more red herring situations in, where it doesn't actually affect the um affect the progress at all, it might just do nothing or it might do something amusing or something extra. Hard to tell. Okay, there is a majestic staircase leading down. Where haven't we gone? There's a rare painting here. Fantastic. What's that? Three, four treasures? A bucket full of water, golden leaf, diamond ring, rare painting, sword, cross penny, piece of paper, parachute with no ripcord. Better fix it. Okay, can I just do that? Need a ripcord. Oh, well, we know what to look for. Okay. I think that's everything upstairs. How do I get out of here? You're in the front balcony. There is a large robe below. Ah, we will be parachuting from that. At some point later in the game. I think that is all of upstairs that I've visited, so I'll see if I can find, see if I can get to that snake again or something. Here we go. There is a vicious snake here. Throw water on the snake, probably not going to help. Sword, I couldn't use the sword before. I'll try the cross, maybe it's a vampire snake. Nope, I've confused it. What have I come across that isn't can't leave, can I? Ah, oh, good grief. The snake bites you, you are dead. 
All right, well, I guess we'll go back to the start. I might skip over these bits in editing and I'll meet you back where we were. Okay, so here we are back to the same spot. Um, the snake has made its move. However, I, as I was retracing my steps, mm -hmm. I uh, discovered that there, as I was retracing my steps, there's a very obvious clue to this bit. Rit you is a very charming word, herf derf. Uh, it's charming as in snake charming, I'm guessing, so we'll, we'll have a go at saying rit new and then we'll see what it does. Well, that was my. No, no, I. Say it. Say rit new. Rit new. A snake is charmed by the very utterance of your words. Good heavens. Always knew I was a snake whisperer. So, where do we want to go? We were trying to go south or east. You're in the red walled room. There is a cabinet on rollers against one wall over here. Uh, can I open the cabinet? Open cabinet. The cabinet is empty and dusty. Scribbled in dust on one shelf are the words behind me. Like a scoob. There is totally a ghost behind me. Uh, do I turn around? Can I get the dust? Can't get dust in this game. Turn around. Uh, uh, I guess there's nothing behind me. Oh, <laughs> behind the cabinet. No, wait, that's not even a verb. I don't even verb. Move cabinet. Behind the cabinet is a vault. You are in the red walled room. There's a cabinet on rollers against one wall over here. There is a vault in the east wall. Well, obviously. I can't, it's locked. Does I have a key, don't I? Brass door key, will that work on the vault? Let's have a look. Oh, I have the combination. It's a combination lock. Clever. Although that's a bit simplistic. It'd be nicer if they could get you to type in the numbers. But uh, I guess they only take two word commands. Alas, the limitations of... of basic <laughs> click the door swings open you're in the red walled room uh, the vault is open uh, get vault go vault is it like a, a walk-in closet sized vault or is it just a, a safe box There's a vault in the east wall, maybe we can go in. There we go. Bulging money bag. Hey, neat. Get, can't get money bag? Get bag. Alright, we're good. We're rocking. That's three treasures now. Oh no, I forgot to get the painting this time. That's a shame. Oh well, we'll pick it up on our way back through. As we're about to jump out the window. Alright, let's get out of this vault. I haven't gone south yet, I don't think. In the formal parlour, there was an oriental rug here. Get rug. As usual, the heroes of these games have astonishingly capacitous pockets. Or backpacks, or what have you. Magic pack of holding. Come standard. 
for all text-based adventurers. All right. You're in the blue drawing room. There is a hot fire on the south wall. Well, that's lucky that I've got a bucket of water then. Oh boy. Oh man. This style of programming. Poor bucket. There we go. Congratulations. Big achievement. You have vanquished the flames. You are in the blue drawing room. There is evidence of a recent fire here. Yeah, I just put it out. I remember it. I could witness it. Miser, if he can't afford expensive books, you'd think he'd have first editions and, and uh, signed, uh, signed copies and whatnot. Books about how to make more money. There is a battered book here. It's hardly a treasure unless it's a complete works of, of Arthur Conan Doyle or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, illuminated Bible. Only one way out. Oh, can I read the book? The front cover is inscribed in Greek. Is it the Iliad? Scrawled in blood on the inside front cover is the message. Victory is a prize-winning word. Nothing happens. Well, hang on. They, It's accepting that as a command, so I must be able to say victory at some point. Unless I can say anything. Yeah, that's giving me a different message. All right. Classic puzzle solving. Uh, how do I get out of here? Is it west? North? North. Okay, east. You're in the den. have to do something in this trophy room then. Are there trophies? Can I get them? How more heads line the walls? Get heads. Go heads? Let's see if saying victory does something here. Prize winning might have something to do with prize hunting or, or trophies or prizes. Portal has opened in the north wall. Two exclamation marks. That's pretty incredible. Well, nothing for it, I guess. North wall will go north. You're in the game room. You're in the smoking room. The air is stale in here, so maybe there is a miser here. He's just been smoking. You are in the portico. A murky pool glimmers on the south side. There's a sign saying "Drop coins for luck." Here, yeah, that's lucky because I have one. As the penny sinks below the surface of the pool, a fleeting image of a chapel with dancers outside appears. That's very cryptic. Having a vision. Having a glimpse of the future. Okay. I came from the east. Where north. You're in the ballroom. It has a beautiful wood dance floor. There is an organ in the corner here. Get organ. Bit too big, even for our magic bag.
can't play organ. Gotta be able to do something with this organ. Please tell me it's not like a human body organ. Can we inspect stuff? Ah, it's just printed out the same thing. Uh, what did we do before? I turned a valve. Pipe organs have valves. Can we open the organ? It's stuck shut. Unstick organ. Oh, okay, I thought I came through here. We'll leave the organ for now. You are in the chapel. A tablet says drop a religious item or die. Who's, how are we going to die? Is Satan going to kill us? Are we going to get smote? Actually, that's a typo. Religious. Or is it? Yeah, there should be an eye in there. Oh, dear. I've just gone and spoiled the whole game. Rusty cross. I suppose it's just cross. Drop cross. Even before it hits the ground, the cross fades away. The tablet has disintegrated. You hear music from the organ. Oh, okay, so a bit of a, a roundabout method, but there is a closed organ playing music in the corner here. There we go. The playing unstuck it. As you open it, several objects suddenly appear. Hey, this place really is haunted. Kind of unclear. Yeah. Although we're going to unmask someone at the end and it's going to be Old Man Smithers. Alright, uh, what do we get? There is a parachute ripcord. Great, we needed one of those. Get ripcord. And get slippers. Are we going to jump out the window or are we going to click our heels to escape? Uh, we can fix that. Parachute. Did I not get the parachute this time? No, I must have skipped it. Oh well, I guess we're going to get the parachute. How do I get out of here? You're in the Hall of Mirrors, a good place to reflect. I don't know if I want to do that. That's just turning me around. Oh, I suppose if there's obvious exits in Hall of Mirrors, they're going to be everywhere. Because it'll reflect. I think just... How about that? The, the sort of mental images that you can get from a line of text. Anyway, let's go back to the house. We'll go and get that parachute. Trying to retrace my steps to remember which way I've gone. Who is saying written you? Oh man, that's spooky as. Surely they could have put that in in a bit more subtle way. Have a book on snakes in the library or something. Mention written you being a magic word. The written you charmers of of uh, of South India. Where are we going? In the Chinese room. Did I go there before? That's right. I got the. Did I get the rug there? There we go. Go stairs. 
I think the parachute was over here, as was the painting. All right, we can fix that up now. Except I can't type. I'm no expert, but I think it'll work. Oh, famous, famous last words there, matey. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna find this painting. There we go, painting. I'm going to jump out. And see what happens. Uh, open parachute. 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 All I want to do is jump off the damn balcony, game. All I want to do is jump off the damn balcony. Jump off. What? Go balcony. Jump. Jump off. No, I did that. Um. Maybe I'm not supposed to do it yet. Uh, I'll kill myself. Kill self. Jump. Hey, you jump. Mm -hmm. That was simple. You yank the ripcord and the chute comes billowing out. You land safely. Congratulations on escaping. You accumulated five treasures for a score of 100 points. 100 possible. This puts you in a class of Grandmaster Adventurer. Well, that's pleasant. Got a high score, I guess. 100% completion. Well, I'll add that to my list of 100%ed games. Okay, guys. Well, this has been uh, The Miser's House. Not the longest game, nor the most uh, fiendish difficulty, I suppose. Only died once. Um, although it's only, like two things that looked like they could kill you. I didn't actually jump in the mercury, but hey, I wonder what happens if you jump off uh, without the parachute. I think I can predict. But anyway, um, I'll, I'll find a new game to play. I'll, I'll see you all soon.